god i'm super tired let me bring this microphone up so you guys can hear me um hold on yeah i didn't like the contrast of that light anyways how are you guys doing it's friday today i am super tired and i ought to have you know put a video out but i guess i'm just i don't know <laughs> I've had a really long week, to be honest. But I mean, some exciting things happened this week. I hung out with my friend. I hadn't seen her in like some weeks. Um, Nigeria is going to the finals. I'm sure by the time this video comes out, we probably would have played the, in the finals. So maybe much later in the vlog, you will find out if we won, of which I want us to, because Nigerians are actually very funny. Like this past week just made me realize how interesting we are as a people anyways um let's see so guys throughout the week i basically did not have the time to really care for my plants i have a life plant if you don't know and i had to just like you know take our time today to trim out all the dead ends because i really realized that wow like you know it's getting bad like really i don't know what the problem is if it's the moisture or like exposure to light or what it is that i wasn't doing right this week but i just realized that yeah i really was very nonchalant about her and i'm trying to fix it so we'll see original problem started the week i traveled to dc because i was literally away for like a whole week and that's when i started to notice that she was getting sick in court and it's like she's been here for like three months plus so it's like all of a sudden what's going on like is it that that whole one week that i didn't really like you know care for it much made it like start to i don't know i don't even know the word to use but she's very high maintenance yeah she's stressing me out at this point but anyways i'm really hoping i'm praying that she continues to thrive i'm going to be more consistent in yeah caring for her so over the weekend i don't know why i almost forgot to tell you guys about this but this just reminded me but over the weekend i went to this new um african market that just launched in houston and what's it called you know how i always talk about wazobia because that's like the market that i always go to so my friend invited me to this new one that was launching in houston they've been around for a while but they just like opened a new branch in houston and we went and it was so much fun guys like i just realized how much i miss going to like nigerian events like because it was like the vibe the food the music the mc like just seeing a lot of nigerian people like i always talk about how I barely meet Nigerians, you know, like apart from the ones that I already knew and maybe like close friends, family, friend of a friend, but it's like just going to places and meeting, like seeing new sets of Nigerians. That actually never really happens for me. Maybe I don't go out enough. But anyways, I went to this new um launch and it was so nice. But guess what, guys? I saw Super Yugo, like literally. I'm going to see if I can insert maybe like clips of what it looks like but i did like a reel on my tiktok like i posted it on my tiktok and then i shared it on my instagram story go and follow me on instagram if you're not already following me but yes like so they actually um what's it called my friend encouraged me to just post it and tag them and they actually responded they reposted on both their tiktok and their instagram pages like you know tagged me commented with my name on it i shared it on my story and I know people kept responding to my story that day. It was literally like, I think it was on Sunday. And everyone is like, this is so nice. This is so cool. You should post more. You should put your content out there. You should take this content in so seriously. And I was like, I mean, I didn't really, to be fair, I wasn't even in the mood that day. I remember my friend telling me, hope you're going to make a reel. And I'm like, let me just put something together. I was very upset that night because I was just in a bad mood. And then I'm like, let me quickly just, you know those things you just be pressing for before you sleep off. And I'm like, let me quickly put the clips together. I didn't really pay attention to the editing. It was something so basic. And the way it blew up, I was just like, okay, 
my friend always tells me you never know the content that is going to blow you never know you know the video that is going to do well that people are going to notice you never know what's going to put you out there or you like you know let people notice what you're doing so that kind of like made me feel very pumped up and it's like okay maybe i should take this content thing actually serious um yeah so that happened and then i realized that up to now is literally a week after i haven't even opened like they gave everyone like a gift bag yeah so i haven't even opened you know the bag to show you i told you guys my week was long so it's like yeah i'm trying to clean up like you know put things in order and just arrange everywhere and i'm realizing that this has been sitting on my kitchen counter for literally the entire week and it looks really interesting because from the day that i picked it up like when they gave it to us that day i was like okay this looks really heavy i can't wait to unbox and see what is inside so i'm going to unbox it with you guys now and yeah it's also branded because that's one thing i noticed like they they are very i love that you know they brand everything like they have their names and stuff so that's also very cool this is the first thing there it's a soap dispenser branded with their name and i think it's really cool i don't know where i'm gonna put this in my house but i'm just gonna keep it because i'm sure it's gonna come in handy one day this is quality stuff guys like i don't know like yes. Ooh. Like, can you see the effort that goes into stuff like this? Like, that's how you know that. Oh, they actually branded the thing itself with their name. Interesting. But yeah, it's a soap dispenser. And I'm just going to put that aside. And there's another. Um, This is it. And I think it's safe. And Oh, it's a can opener. Oh, my God. You guys. Hey i have like bits of things like this but hey this is like yeah another level and this is the carton that it came in this, these are very like kitchen like literally i don't even know what to say right now but these are very quality gifts for souvenir for everybody wow let's keep looking let's keep looking um i think this was the bag that i i used to buy can you see how good their branding is? I mean, they didn't pay me for this, okay? This is not a paid ad in any way. I'm just really excited for the brand. I was there. I listened to what the story, like I saw the um, PowerPoint slides of like their progress over the years. It's just a fellow Nigerian supporting a Nigerian-owned business, okay? So don't think that they paid me to be doing all this promo. They didn't pay me shit. But yes, I love, and as a PR marketing comms person, like, trust me like i appreciate when i see like brands you know go over and beyond to put themselves out there so this is like very good packaging and branding you know and yeah let's keep looking there is this is oh this is time Geno time so like curry and time is definitely coming in handy for me there's also curry because i mean you guys know i cook a lot on this channel so i'm definitely going to use this thank you guys and this is pantry item i think it's gary it's gary it doesn't like say gary used in cooking your special delicacy i think it's it's gary this is gary now what's wrong with me it's gary i mean i'm not a gary person to be fair i actually don't eat gary but once in a while you can see it in my house so yeah um oh oh god guys when i say when i went there i literally felt like nigeria like taste of nigeria the things that they actually imported and put in the warehouse like when last did i see this like literally years ago when i was in nigeria oh i have picked milk like i buy this from Wazoka all the time i don't know if i've seen three crowns since i've been here but i can't remember the last time i saw milo i don't even drink tea that much like i'm not a tea person like this type of tea i mostly drink like green tea herbal tea ginger lemon honey but i was i'm just so excited to be seen and having these things like in my house and the fact that they have it in the store which means i think i saw oval team that day as well so it's like if i even crave any of these things one random day i know that i'm gonna go there i'm gonna, I'm gonna find it okay so that's it and then the last thing i'm not sure what this is it's also branded my sasun 
African market, but let's find out. Hmm. I don't know what is it like a tablecloth? Oh my god, guys, it's an apron. Is it like wait, hold on? Can you see? It's an apron. Wait, hold on. I'm too excited. What? Let me see. Oh my God. My, what's it called? Oh, nah, yo. This is crazy. Like, I am super excited. Can you see this? It's an apron. I'm going to have to adjust my camera so you can see the full thing. But, hmm. My Sassoon African Market. You guys are the real MVP. Can you see this? It's an apron, guys. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know how far you can see, but... Woohoo! My cooking game is about to be lit! Whenever you just see me wear this, just be like... And it has pockets, so... I swear, out of everything here... Oh my god, I think I'm blocking my mic. Out of everything in this gift bag from the launch, this is my favorite, okay? And I've never owned an apron before. I I've never just bothered to buy one. And then to be giving one for free as someone that spends a lot of time in the kitchen. Trust me, the excitement is so real. But yes, guys, this is everything that I got. That was in the gift bag and yeah. I need to start figuring out better ways to spend my Friday evenings aside just staying in my house hold on let me pause this aside just being in my house like i need to go outside everyone is always like you need to go out more you need to meet more people you need to i don't know girls like what do you guys do on friday evenings like honestly this year i told myself i'm going to step out of my comfort zone more i'm going to be more intentional about doing certain things right and it includes actually going out and having a social life. But tell me why I'm at home. It's Friday night. It's just like I'm too comfortable. Like once it's like the week is long, I'm like, you know, work is done. I just want to just be by myself as much as I can. Like I don't ever get bored being alone. I have very few friends that once in a while we can hang out and stuff. But I've been feeling this need to like, you know, do more exciting things like you know go out have new experiences like me maybe meet new people even though i feel like i know too many people already and sometimes it gets really exhausting but it's like yeah i'm just home watching tv this is like typical fridays for me just be home like i just took a shower like a really long shower i did my skincare routine and i'm just in my living room like i'm grilling like some shrimps and chicken and i'm having wine right now hold on here yep, i'm having wine and just burning a candle oh lord that's an amber alert but like i'm burning a candle like with this wine in front of me i'm watching tv while waiting for my chicken to grill and i happen to have jollof rice but it's like i'm just always chilled like if i'm not watching a tv show i'll probably just sleep off or like i don't know but it's like what do you guys do what do people do on weekends these days i feel like i've gotten like my 30 plus that is showing like literally a year or two ago because it's like even if i go out in like a couple minutes or maybe like an hour or two i'm already ready to come back to my house so it's like how are you guys maintaining having social lives and yeah that's like my mini friday night rant but we'll see i'll call my friend up let me see maybe i'll just go to her house <music> Oh 
my god, you know what? to my house. I didn't know I 